Hello Psycho, today we are going to learn cardiac cycle. What is cardiac cycle? The blood coming from the body to the heart and a heart sending it back to the body. All the events that happen between these two events are called cardiac cycle. So we are going to discuss how atria, ventricle, semilunar valves and vessels are going to behave in these series of events. Let's start. Now the heart cycle consists of two basic steps, cardiac diastole means the relaxation of heart muscles and the cardiac systole means contraction of heart muscles. Let's consider all the heart muscles are relaxed in this picture. Now the blood have to come from superior and inferior vena cava to the right artery and, and have to go down to the ventricle and from there it have to go to the pulmonary artery to be oxygenated from the lungs and will come back from the pulmonary vein to the left atrium and will go down to the left ventricle to be distributed in the body uh, by the iota. A average heart beat 72 times per minute means one heart cycle or one cardiac cycle is 0 0.8 seconds and in that 0 0.8 seconds atria remains relaxed for 0 0.7 seconds means most of the time in the cardiac cycle atrias remain relaxed means arterial diastole about 0 0.7 seconds and ventricles remain relaxed for 0 0.5 seconds means ventricular diastole lasts about 0 0.5 seconds atria contracted for 0.1 seconds mean arterial systole is 0.1 second and ventricle contracted about 0.3 seconds means ventricle systole is about 0.3 seconds. To see heart stilly and diastole in the detail, cardiac cycle is further divided into 7 phases and we will see each and every phase one by one. Now consider arterial systole or arterial contraction as the first phase of cardiac cycle. Blood is coming into the atria and most of the blood that is coming to the atria will flow down to the ventricle without the contraction of the atriums. About 80% of the blood will flow through the ventricles without the contractions of the atrium. Now the Blood from the body from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava have flown to the right atrium and 80% of that blood has already flown to the right ventricle and blood from the lungs has come to the left atrium and 80% of that blood has already filled the left ventricle. Now only 20% of the blood is remaining in the right and left atria. And first phase of the cardiac cycle will start with the depolarization of the arterial muscles. And that depolarization of arterial muscle is represented as P wave in electrocardiogram. Here you can see the P wave in electrocardiogram. The waves in the electrocardiogram actually show the electrical activity that is being happening in the cardiac muscles. As I said, arterial systole is just 0.1 second and then atria start to repolarize again. Now blood is all in the ventricles, atria is fully empty. The tricuspid and mitral valves are open and blood is in the ventricles. Now ventricles start to depolarize and that depolarization is represented as QRS complex in ECG. Now as the pressure in the ventricle will increase, the tricuspid and mitral valves will be closed and that is first heart sound that is produced by the closure of aortic and mitral valve. But the pulmonary valve and aortic valve are also closed till the pressure of the ventricle exceed from the pressure of aorta and pulmonary artery. So the volume of the ventricles means the blood that is present in the ventricles that volume of that blood will be same until the aortic and pulmonary valves open and that is called isovolumic contraction. Iso means same and volume means volume. 
so the phase where the ventricle start to depolarize and till the volume remains same and all the valves remain closed is called isovolumic contraction Now the ventricles keep contracting until the pressure in the ventricle exceeds from the pulmonary and aortic pressure and as soon as the pressure in ventricles exceeds from the pulmonary and aortic pressure run into the pulmonary artery and aorta blood is rapidly ejected by the ventricles to the pulmonary artery and aorta and that is called rapid ejection phase and keep in mind there is no sound produced when the valves open any valve mitral valve pulmonary valve aortic valve or tricuspid valve no sound is made when valves open just the valve closure sound is made in the ecg it is still the qrs complex because the arterial depolarization is in action now the ventricular depolarization ends and ventricular repolarization begin to start and that is represented it as t wave in the ecg as soon as the ventricular repolarization starts it reduces the force of ventricular ejection and it results in slow down of the blood running into the aorta and pulmonary artery and it is called slow ejection phase the pressure in the ventricles slowly and gradually reduce and the pressure in atriums begin to increase because because continuous return of blood from the body and the lungs and arteries at that time are acting as reservoirs because ev valves are closed and blood is coming from the body and lungs no blood is going down to the ventricles when the ventricular pressure falls down the pulmonary artery and aortic pressure the aortic and pulmonary valves up close abruptly making the second heart sound that is heard on the beginning of the isovolumic relaxation so yet another instance where all valves are closed previously all valves were closed in isovolumic contraction pressure is decreasing and the ventricles are relaxing but the volume is not increasing in the ventricles because until the pressure in ventricles will not fall below the pressure in arteries the av valves will not open so in isovolumic relaxation the ventricles are like empty tanks pressure in ventricles keeps falling and as soon as falls below the pressure in the atria av valves open blood abruptly comes in the ventricles and this is a passive filling no arterial contraction is in action at the time and it is called rapid filling phase normally it is silent but sometime ventricular filling is audible as a three or third heart sound ventricles keep filling passively and they become less compliant because the pressure of the blood rises the intraventricular pressure and the ventricles become less compliant and they cannot accept more blood but the ventricles are 80 to 90% filled at this stage and the next heart cycle with the arterial contraction starts i hope i am successful in making you understand about the heart cycle till the next video khuda hafiz